wasn't but I mean, like, who the seller was. Who drove it to you? Oh, I don't know. That's who you need to find out. That's who you need to contact. I, I would love to, but it says that they dropped a card for me and there is no card in the letterbox. It's a problem. It's a, it's a mystery. It really is. But <laughs> I'm putting that in the back seat for now. I'm going to make sure that this tournament goes as smoothly as possible as well. And thanks for taking all the flack of streaming as well. The streaming for me is really stressful. <laughs> uh, but you've got so some many background some applications. Top quality <laughs> graphics. And if anybody's looking for a, well, you, can, you can start charging for some people who want to uh, who stream and oh, want. Um, or, or people have overlays. asked me. Uh, uh, people have asked me to do overlays. Um, Zatman asked me. I was going to make Zatman one for free with, with a little advertisement on my thing, but. Uh, I ended up making like one for myself just to try and experiment and figure out how it works. And then it was all of a sudden I was really busy again. But yeah, if people want overlays and they're willing to pay money, I'll happily take some time out to make the overlays for them. It's all animated and stuff like that. So I've got like a, the one I've made is a little lava one. And there's lava that's glowing in and out and it fits around your playing on maximum UI. It only works with maximum UI because I can't figure out, you know, the different UIs people are using, uh, UI sizes. So, well, if you yeah. if the if you play at maximum 100% UI, then if you scale it, how's the UI scale in the game? Does it scale uh, by it, percentage? It uh, strangely enough, if you set it to max, it isn't max. It's like max is actually like 33% of the way through the HUD scaling. Like it won't get any bigger after that for some reason. So if you just turn it all the way to max, it will be at 33%. And that's a sort of fixed measurement for me to work on. If you do it from anything below the max, then yeah, they should like, they, sh I, I they should set it up to where um, it's a percentage based inside their HUD, inside their HUD scaling on the setting options. Then people who could have a way to edit, could edit the image and put it at a percentage base. Yeah, that just might work. But that requires, you know, high res to put that at a percentage space. <laughs> well, it's, it all depends if people want, actually want to pay for that stuff. I. Oh, we've I, got some I'm, picks and bands. Oh, do we? <gasps> yes. And game is made and we'll be starting soon, apparently. I'm not jumping in, anybody, so we'll see if we find them. Oh, but talking to you. we do have um, Juice has banned Guan. And Jerks have banned Thor. Ooh, interesting. Let's go ahead now, Guan Yu is a reasonable pick, I would say. For, i still not sure about this patch, but yeah, I think that's a safe banner as well. Yeah, so, looking at... at hell, there's that hell. <laughs> the hell is not actually playing, though. It's just the pick, ah. it, it's the pick they had, I guess, to keep them from getting it. That's strange. They wanted, I guess. And like, then, one of the strongest gods, and they've decided to not play that one, but they've got it picked. Yeah, so, <laughs> so it essentially, picked. for them, it's like a double ban. <laughs> so, yeah, it is kind of like a double ban, I guess you look at it. So, Juice is running with Agni, Raw, Emir, Bastet, and Hell, who's not going to be played. And Jerks will be running with Artemis, Onher, Freya, Odin, and Sobek. So, now we're just waiting to be able to jump into this game. I'm wondering if Sobek will be teamed up with Artemis because that is a real fun combination. <laughs> Did you do you see if any of them are in game right now or? Uh, not currently. I'm keeping my eye on. Okay. Okay. Right? Good. I I know so, how to opticals. So yes. <laughs> Guan is actually a very um, I think a good band choice for this patch with the cooldown reduction. People have been able to get Guan to three seconds or less on its heal and dash. For 300 heal as well, yes, which is heal, so. hot. So very, um, very one. I just want to kind of get rid of. He's very survival because of that. So a, a good choice there. As far as the Thor on the jerk side, I think you just don't want to deal with it. And we are actually jumping into the game now. So you can May see you, what each are ooh. choosing. And oh, can we actually join in on the choosing thing now? No, we can't. When you do tag along. And tag along works now. Tag along? Do you not have tag along? What is tag along? What is this? You do slash tag along on a player, and it will when they jump into the god select thing, it will pull you in with them. 
why am I only hearing about this now? <laughs> <laughs> I do not know. We're uh, actually seeing. So Shing <laughs> is going with Bastet, Anatoly with Raw, Jerby with Agni, Harvest with Hell, and Allied with Emir. And then so, and then on the jerk side, Graven with Artemis, on her with Mouthwash, Kantaka getting Odin, Thormod, Sobek, and Jernerdk with Freya. So Hell is the one that's not going to be played. It looks like Har Juice Harvest is the one who's not going to be here today, making this a 4v5. That's strange. All right, just tell me when you get in the game and I'll... You got five seconds. Hell yeah. <laughs> and lock... Oh, well, that was five seconds, so they finally lock in. So now game's launching in five seconds. So uh. what can we... <laughs> with a 4v5 here, it... We, what, are we, what do you think is going to happen? I think that there's going to be four mid and... <laughs> four <laughs> no. mid... <laughs> I, I really it's, hope it's the only is, logical conclusion. I really I hope talk. Juice is not going to be trolling that much in this. I think Raw is going to be the one going mid. <laughs> or um, or Jeremy yes, Agni, or maybe. It could be Agni as well. I think I'm... Jeremy, usually. Hmm. I don't know. I, I don't expect to, uh, to see Anatoly in mid lane. Uh, but Raw would be a great choice. Uh, but Agni as well. Uh, we'll see how it goes, though. Uh, let's let's give these guys a proper full introduction though, just for my videos on demand, because I like that stuff. That's, that's, <laughs> I'm recording at a full 1080p quality. If anyone wants to catch these games later, uh, or quite miss it, they can catch it on my YouTube channel. But hey, let's start this. Welcome to the My Revenge Cup 4 tournament, uh, running every Saturday. Uh, Maybe next Saturday too, we don't know. But uh, this was like on a spur of the moment. We wasn't quite sure if it was going to happen because of the patch, which has come out causing some server explosions, according to Hi-Rez Bart. Uh, everyone trying to log in at once did something horrendous to the servers. Uh, so we do have Juice versus Kosio Jerks. Blue team is Kosio, red team for me is Juice. And this is an interesting 4v5 as well. <gasps> Kennedy, tell me about the 4v5. Just for just for the live uh, non-live viewers. <laughs> <laughs> well, it seems that Juice has one player who's going to be AFK for more than thirty minutes. So instead of waiting or having to forfeit, Juice has elected to play this match in a four v five format. Hell oh being God. the one player who's left out in the background, not going to be played by Harvest, and it's going to give us a bit of an interesting here setup for these two, and seeing what Juice is going to be running. In the middle, it doesn't look like they have anybody in the position. Bit of an invasion right on the right. Oh no, they're not going to go for that because there are three guys there at the manor. <laughs> but uh, four? Uh, no, we got uh, Anatoly on the left there. But <laughs> sending a hail of arrows across there, maybe a bit of a mana expenditure. But uh, I'm just wondering, what happens if 30 minutes goes, you know? Bye in this match. Does Hell come back in the game? Oh, I think we might have a Ymir here. Allied is sprinting out of there with heavenly agility. And it looked like a, a good opportunity there for Kosio Jerks, but just not able to get that Ymir. Yeah, it is a very good question. If 30 minutes does pass by in the game, does Hell just jump on the character and play? I mean, <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I feel like with the rules, they're going to say no, but... Actually, I don't know. We got new rules. I mean, it's kind does of your he jump choice. in a feed, or is is allied uh, harvest that good, rather? <laughs> <laughs> so, it looks like Jerby is going to take um, Agni to the mid, and Jerby does usually play that mid role. Um, surprising to see playing it with Agni. Um, maybe just likes it recently with the new patch. I don't know how much they played yesterday, or if they could play it all yesterday. Um, not much practice has been allowed for these teams due to the issues. And I'm not sure if we're going to lose control of this game or not. The GMs are messaging everybody that queues will That's be restarting. It's only queues. <laughs> yes, but who knows what that can be. Like. Well, not the end of the world, we hope. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, is daringly dashing in towards on her to take out that lane instead of going up from behind and dashing back. Um, yeah. Maybe not too much worried about on her stunning them. Mouthwash, not 
really taking the opportunity to do something about that. It's uh, usually what a lot of players will do is Agni is just do it once to find out what their response will be. And uh, you see, Anher is just in hiding in his tower, which makes it very, very safe for Agni to do that. And he's not going to be able to react at the, the time, you know, there's a space between it. That he just didn't have time to go in there and go and impale him against a wall. Uh, so maybe Mouthwash just wants to play it very safe. Uh, maybe he's expecting something nasty to happen in the middle from the side lanes. Anantoli, by the way, is the guy left by himself to take on both Odin and Freya. And with an Odin here, by the way, I'm going to be able to jump in quite easily and try and lock him into the Ring of Spears. Ra will be definitely using his movement speed to try and survive. Uh, starting with a new item, by the way, the Mark of the Vanguard, which gives you all damage taken is reduced by five. Uh, that was slightly nerfed from the PTS server. A lot of complaints on that, but still a fairly strong item. So I think Anatoly is doing what anyone would do in a 1v2 situation is just try and play safe. But he's actually pushing. Like, well, Raw is a very it? good guy to put into the situation. Um, I see now why they chose <laughs> to put Raw there. Um, yeah. The, the extra levels he's gaining into 1v2 and his push capabilities already are quite strong, so it allows him to maintain control of that lane with much worry and can heal himself when needed. I, I think that's the best person you can put in that situation is Ra. And even against Odin, even though he will get trapped inside those Ring of Spears, with movement speed, with the passive ability to increase his movement speed by 30%, he should be able to avoid a lot of the damage. And Freya, not too much damage from her ultimate. It's, I mean, it's got a great reach. Uh, you can't be... Uh, you don't take damage whilst you're in there unless it's from a damage over time. Uh, so... I, I just don't see Ra dying if Anatoly plays it really, really safe and cautiously. No, it's also a fantastic pusher. It's also very much known Juice's gameplay is very aggressive. So this those North American teams, I see. <laughs> <laughs> this the four v five play though is going to give them that advantage to just be that much more aggressive early on, allowing them to get two people who are gaining the solo experience and. If they can get a um, snowball effect occurring early on in 4v5, they can easily push that for the win. So that's very that, that very much might help them more than hurt them, um, depending on how jerks let them play. Uh, Freya starting with a meditation, by the way, and uh, no no meditations to be heard of from Juice Gaming's point of view. Uh, we do have a Bastet with a Heartseeker on that right-hand side. I'm glad that they decided to put the Heartseeker over on that side as well, not on a single lane. Uh, <laughs> teamed up with Ymir, too. I think that's a strong combo. Bastet just feels really strong this patch. I don't know what it is, but my play with her has increased extraordinary. And I... I, I don't, like, credit myself. Like, I'm a really good player. I just feel like it's Bastet that's made me somewhat better. Um... So, oh, oh, we do have Sobek and Animus comboing up as well. I really want to see some of those throw trap combinations. I hope we get to see some from Formod and Graven. Uh, we just got uh, Bastet hanging. Uh, oh no, Bastet's gone back. Ymir is just uh, keeping the lane cozy for the time being. Uh, is there anything unusual you see about the items? I see an Obsidian Shard again as the first item. Well, I want to take a very close note to both what Raw and Amir are running with. And they both have grabbed the defensive starter biting, defensive starting island mark of the vanguard, which a lot of people are not um, being very fond of, or are fond of, but agree that it's not the best item to have in the game right now. It's reducing the damage from the minions quite a bit, making it yeah. almost like they're trivial, not much to worry about. So the question is, is will that item last much longer in the game? I don't know, but. Raw and Amir are definitely taking advantage of it and not worrying about taking too much damage from the minions because of it. Now, Artemis, just uh, the helpful lane, uh, mid lane sort of switch, just taking a minion wave, grabbing that extra XP, then goes over to the Fire Giant, drops a trap, and backs out. And that was real nice usage of time there, uh, just taking over the lane. They had already pushed the right lane quite far back, so they had um, a little bit of single... Uh, lane XP from both Artemis and Sobek there, but obviously not going to compete with Anatoly by himself in the lane, who is currently level 8. Uh, we have Odin. I think he's going to come in and try and lock him in. Does Anatoly know it? He's he's peeking. Yeah, he knows it. He did uh, like the 45 degree angle, making sure he can catch uh, one eye on that lane exit, uh, the jungle exit. And uh, I... 
I, I feel like maybe there should be some ganks going on. Agni, in fact, is on the move to the right. So, maybe he should have gone left. Uh, Serbek got is pushed back with Artemis up against the tower. And both Xing and Allied are just taking their time to push out the tower. I mean, they're not giving them much of a effort, uh, much of a scare to fall back. I don't know what this Harvest fellow is doing, but he's only level one. Ugh. <laughs> 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 oh, Agni. I see what Agni wanted to do. He wanted Anha to move forward uh, a bit, and then he was going to try and take him by himself. Oh, my God. This is not going to look good for Jerby as he's sprinting away, trying to avoid those spears. There goes the jump from Anha, getting closer. The Noxious fumes and the purification beads from Anha. What an excellent plan. An incoming Odin. Will Jerby be able to get away here? The Ring of Spears is on. Bye-bye, Jerby. It's like the end of the show where everyone just waves their hand for like a minute. That's what I'm doing there. <laughs> well, uh, Jeremy had a very good maneuvering there. Almost got escaped, but thanks to Odin coming in to secure that kill. Um, Andher should have had that kill long before. Um, he has to really think his teammate Odin for it. And we still have more confirmation going on here. Losing Yeah, that was Shane. definitely Shane, but yes, sorry. Absolutely. Freya. Like to go, Sobek. Where are you going, Sobek? Stay with you, Miss Sobek. <laughs> uh, not gonna be uh, hit by that ultimate, though. No, manages to avoid the ultimate, and Anatoly's beam did not hit him as well. So Sobek's gonna look like it's gonna escape, and gets another wall block by Amir, and goes down in seconds. Nice hit there from both of them. There was mouthwash, which looked like he wanted to go in on that engagement and saw Sobek die and said, ah, I don't want any part of that. Uh, that seems like a bad place to be. And uh, moves back into the middle lane. Jerby's also there. Whoa, a minion just went flying off my screen with that ragdoll effect. I love that, by the way. <laughs> Shing is taking early advantage of the Heartseeker um, bonus getting and trying to build it up as fast as possible. Jernik is returning into this fight, trying to get Anatoly down. But yeah. his teammate, Odin, has no mana to help him. He is not happy with dying that last one and really just wanted to try and kill Anha and make up for the fact that he died there. I, I think that was a personal vendetta on his half. Looks like Shing is grabbing the red buff in the middle and is not going to go for the gank right now on her. He's back by his tower. Nothing can really stop him. They actually uh, increased jungle XP by 50%. And I see... Uh, Shing is taking some of that jungle buffs as well. Just the XP ones. So. Yes, the XP, ha the experience has increased now. It says increased by 50%. We have to keep in mind that that is the original. And Jeremy's going to go oh. down again if Artemis can get the hit. Raven! On. Yeah, <laughs> heavenly agility. Getting closer and a beautiful obelisk there, slowing him down partially. Uh, allowing Artemis to get in an auto attack and finish him off. Booyah! That was a nice move. So. Jerby is losing the mid lane quite a bit now. Um, Anher is trying to recall, but Shing is definitely scaring him to back out. And he just keeps trying. He's losing a lot of time here. He would have been better off running back to that second tower and then trying to recall immediately instead of doing a double recall take. Uh, Shing is all over the place at the moment, just taking all of the jungle buffs. I'm expecting maybe to see Shing go and gank someone, but... Uh, now I'm just going to hang out in the middle. Okay, that's that's good call. There's lots of XP here. Clear the lane. And Joby will be back in a jiffy. All right, heading over to the right now. Yeah, so... I mean, but back to the jungle buffs. You're right. They increased it by 50%, but if we remember in the previous patch, they decreased it. Um, I don't know if it was decreased by 50% or not before. So, I, But it might be back at its normal experience levels is what we're probably playing with at this point. All right. Uh, there are a lot of wards on the right-hand side, by the way, so no way for Bastet to really sneak up on Graven and Formod. Uh, it just was not going to happen, so excellent that there's loads of site coverage. We do get an engagement in any case, so back throwing Bastet back to make sure that Arnimus can escape. I think that was well nicely timed and the right target to pick as well. Ymir would not be able to take Artemis uh, by himself. No, so just kicking Bastet out of that fight was, you know, props to form hard on that one. We have in the middle Jeremy going up against Mouthwash. And Mouthwash is going to retreat. I think Jeremy certainly has the uh, player skill advantage in the mid. 
He's really doing a number on Anher quite a lot, but when the teammates come, and just like now, has used his dash, by the way, uh, Mathwash is still sticking around. Uh, Jerby is running over to the left. Artemis is going to try and go on an intercept course. I think this is it. This might be it. Does Artemis have the ult? Oh, yeah, but the line of sight blocks oh, it. Oh, gets it. Knocked back matter. by Mouthwash. Hits him. Knock think... The knockback by Mouthwash hit Agni backwards, allowing the ultimate from Artemis yeah. to stun him <laughs> and get the I think kill. Tusky got the kill there. It was a double stun. Tusky, Tusky really needs uh, like a, a little, you know, on the tab page, just their own sort of kills and stuff. On a side nice. note, um, Shing decides <laughs> to just stroll on into the middle lane and take out the tower while at it. Um, just moving about, just going about his business. I don't think he seems too worried about anything. Uh, incoming mouthwash, though. Sees it, though. And uh, running away now. Followed by Artemis as well. It looks like both teams are actually putting some coverage into the map. Oh, blue team does have coverage of the gold. Yuri, oh, explosion from Yumiya takes out Sobek. And uh, Bastet retreating, doesn't want to play with this one. Although I think Artemis ult is down, and hers ult is down. They might have been able to go in on that. Shing, uh, no, Allied has a bit lower mana, but surely a freeze in there uh, is all he needs. Yeah, I'm taking, a look at, taking a look at the map, the gold and fire giant are covered by jerks. Um, they both have they have both those covered. While it looks like... coming for gank. Oh, it gets that noxious fume stun against Odin, easily killing him. Freya size up in an ult and just blasts down on Jervy. But you notice that it's not that much damage. Like 33% damage against Jervy's health, hitting all of those attacks. The coverage by Juice is actually none right now in the jungle. They their cover all their coverage has come up. They just lost their ward, so they're probably going to be uh, putting some more down soon. Looks like we're going to have Juice chasing here after on her, but on her uses sprint and a jump to get away. Coming Sobek from behind with that parrot on the shoulder. Does Jerby want to turn around and maybe take a, a few shots at that? Oh, uh, no, going, uh, retreating for the jungle, in fact. That was a safer retreat path. I commend that effort. And yes. Jimmy's gonna back up <laughs> for some safety right now. Up, oh, Rawl's over on the side by himself. Takes out a tower. It's just pushing capability of Rawl is so nice. Able to use the beam to take out minions and then provide a heal for his own minions as well as a slight buff. Rawl also building very tanky as well. Wall of Absolution and tank boots. I think tank boots is fantastic. Pretty much for all gods, just for some of the, the stun and slow reduction in duration that's fantastic if you want to have that uh, but also sprint is just excellent escaping uh, opportunities there with the aegis too so basically anantoli is saying i just want to make sure i don't die i don't feed and i'll let the team do the rest well it's and the tank roll is actually a very um, interesting build to use i have to say but it, the Wall of Absolution gives you both a defensive and as yeah. well as magical power, which is always nice. sustain the mana for five. Yes, and the MP5, so. Anatoly is able to stay up close to the enemy if need be and push down his lane when it's needed. Shing's over here on the right side, going to push up this lane. Both Sobek and Artemis are just backing up scared. Um, yeah. I'm not really sure I, how to stop their four levels difference. Exactly, I, I would be fearful of that as well, but maybe if they combine their powers, Jing will just jump out of it. So. Artemis is trying to come <laughs> in from behind. Emir finds Artemis and freezes. And, and this is a perfect Artemis. calling card. Incoming Anho from the back, but Jerby is also here too. Bye bye, Sobek. It's lights out for him. Will Artemis and Anho be able to escape? That's really the best blue team can hope for at the moment. They do manage to get in their tower. A slow Tusky is giving covering fire. Gonna go around, stun absolutely everybody and take some damage. Anho goes down though. And Tusky knights out as well. Night night, Tusky. <laughs> it's just every single time that the jerks feel it look like they have an opportunity in this match. It seems that Juice manages to come around right around the corner on them. They keep trying to set up those ganks, and then someone from Juice just upsets them. 
Woods. Yeah, we had a lot of wards down here from Juice as well, but uh, on a side note to wards, it's not just wards which give you coverage, it's excellent communication as well. You don't necessarily need vision to know aroundabouts where people are. You can sort of make judgment calls uh, based on, you know, what what would you do? What, what do you think they would do? Just uh, sort of analyzing their personalities, if you uh, put it like that. Definitely. But, uh, and if they watched the previous calls, game, they saw that they were um, playing decently, but this is a much faster paced game as we're already seeing. 17 minutes in, several towers down. Um, it looks like Juice is going to go take the gold buff. And get it, perhaps. I, I don't see Odin coming in. He's going away. Freya is too busy occupied with the tower. Uh, there is a ward which might just be able to see them at the damage buff. Uh, if, if it's definitely seen them now, and there's nothing they can do about it. Yeah, there, there's a ward sitting inside the damage buff. Oh, they actually had one right next to the gold fairy. They did have Ah, one. yes, they did. So they Those were giant portraits, to... damn you! <laughs> <laughs> and the there is a ward over at Fire Giant, so they're going to be able to watch that a oh, lot easier. Oh, Jenard's run into the jungle with Ymir. I see a wall coming soon. Is it going to happen? Allied, he knows he wants it. There goes that wall, and a perfectly timed ult from Anatoly as well. Right when that wall hit and shot Freya, uh, and he goes Odin, who traps himself. I, I, I guess Odin was no just like a little, little terrorist. Odin has no man to the jump, leaving him at Anatoly's mercy. I don't know why. Odin may as well just strap Ymir to his chest right there. Uh, using his ult, trapping Ymir inside there is not too good. Shin goes down to on hers ultimate over by the fire giants. And Jerby is trying to maintain alive right now. Has some mana, but definitely an advantage in on hers play right now. On her, oh, what's he building? He's got an executioner's axe and one of those soul eaters again. Those ruddy soul eaters contaminating my game. <laughs> oh, and the soul eaters earlier. I, I guess they liked the item, but who's who's it stopping here? I mean, let's let's take a real quick look. At, on her is building that soul eater. And the only person he's affecting with it is Shing on the Bastet. Which could be said that affecting Shing on the Bastet might be important, but Bastet has the abilities that deal quite a bit of damage just to begin with. So it's not too effective as a passive item. Would have been much better to go with the um, one of the other items just to go off, even if it was Kin's Blade or something. A delightful moment with Formod, by the way. He, he looks so gormless there. As he puts down a ward next to his own ward and tries to kill his own ward. <laughs> I loved it. Oh, he's so cute, Formod. Uh, but yes, uh, I honestly, I just, I, I like Soul Eater as an item, but I just think there's always going to be a better one out there until you get to the fifth and sixth item. Uh, it's got health on it. It's got focus. That's been added onto it as well. Uh, we have Odin being chased in the jungle, and he's running to his teammates, Freya. I don't think Freya can quite take on the entire of red team by uh, herself. She's going to land gonna and... Go down. Yeah, that's, that was going to happen. That's, that's unavoidable. <laughs> and apparently the game is telling me that there was a problem with match requests, and to please try again. So we're going to ignore oh, we that try little again? message. Yes, Good. apparently, while we're in <laughs> I think we'll wait until after this game to try and again. Juice is taking their 4v5 team and heading over to the Fire Giant. Possibly to go get Sobek and Artemis, oh, I think. Yeah, yeah they're going to pass it up. There are, there are a lot of wards around the Fire Giant. They can certainly pick up these kills here. They recall. Uh, no, no, they backed out. Nice, nice. Those wards gave enough time. Uh, it's a very quick recall, by the way, five seconds. So they can just uh, see through the wards where they are and say, oh, we are totally boned here. Hit that recall button. Got out of there. Perfect play from Kosio Jerks. But now they need to perfect it even more to try and stop this fire giant. There are five of them up. Four of them. Uh, three of them, rather, are just on the knocking on the doors. Ymir is zoning them with that wall. Uh, we've still got a bit of health left on that fire giant. I think Jerks do have this. And now it is the time for war. Yes, war. That, that's that's your. <laughs> your, your, your I hype up there. <laughs> oh, the the is, fights are all over the place right now here. The Sobek's gonna go down to Shing as well as Freya being chased. 
Shing is not going to give him much choice. A big jump loses half, most of the health there. And Juice just pushes through. After with the level disadvantage here, as well as the level gold disadvantage, and now the fire giant, that gives Juice a full on advantage to push through them. And there just wasn't much chance there at that point. They, ha they didn't deal the damage to him they needed to while they were inside the buff. And Juice is just going to push right up the middle lane now to most likely end this match. I, maybe a surrender is in order, but I do admire teams which don't give up and never say die. Uh, I have nothing against that one whatsoever. I, I know there's a lot of guys which are saying, oh, they're just wasting their time. No, I just think it's it's just nice to see players play to the full extent of the game because there's always going to be occasionally that one game which does turn around because you just have the determination and persistence to stick to it and play your hardest. Well, their whole team's going to be up in five seconds, but the Minotaur does go down. That was a 4v5 by Juice. And Harvest getting level two, though. Harvest to get level Harvest two. carrying the game. Throughout the whole game. Um, <laughs> I, I'm not sure what Harvest was doing during this game. It's <laughs> kidding. No, so that, that match goes uh, to Harvest Juice. was banning hell in this game. Was, that was, was banning hell. That was, that was their second ban. So that goes to Juice.